Hi, uh, so we are currently standing still on the fourth floor of the Gates Holding Center in the undergraduate administrative hallway right in front of Tom Cortina's office. Uh, here we'd like to go into detail about advising, TAs, and the overall approachability and seemingly infinite resources that you could have for help. Uh, one of the best things about SCS is the approachability of the faculty. You probably noticed I said we were in front of Tom's office instead of Professor Cortina or his other official titles. Uh, this is because the professors respect their students and in turn are very welcoming. You will see even freshmen cracking jokes with the professors that created some of the material for their classes. Uh, you can easily ask professors to get coffee or food without an appointment. Primarily the younger professors are more have more free time, but still any professor would be happy to get coffee or chat with you. Personally, I'm really close with my advisor and I even built the IKEA couch that's in his office currently. Um, so I'd like to go and enjoy that oftentimes. Um, a lot of people become Facebook friends with the professors or follow them on Twitter. Uh, so things are really, really casual between professors and students, obviously outside of the classroom. Additionally, you will notice that Tom's door is abnormally large for a door frame. Uh, the doors are giant as to welcome students to take advantage of the open door and go on in. Tom always says that the door takes up about 50% of his office wall. Um, so just as you can see, like the doors are much wider than a regular door frame. Um, and this is to enforce the fact that we do have an open door policy. Uh, Tom is one of the many advisors to the undergraduates and currently is an advisor to half the freshman and junior class. Well, I guess rising seniors now. Um, for freshman year, you will have Veronica or Tom as your advisor who will help you with things like AP credits, choosing your classes, etc. Any other freshman related problems. And then after freshman year, you'll be assigned a new advisor that will be yours until you graduate. Um, you're also welcome to change your advisor if you feel rather close to a different professor, uh, which I actually ended up doing. Um, they will be there for you for any personal help or classes help, planning your schedule and just about everything in between. Uh, you can also ask just about any professor for help regardless of whether they are your advisor, so you will never run out of people to talk to. Uh, also, when you get your minor, since it is required to get a minor in SCS, uh, you will have a minor advisor as well, or if you do an additional major, you can have an additional major advisor. So there's no limit to the number of people that you can talk to. In terms of your classes, if you're struggling, we have so many resources to aid you. There are office hours and TAs and Excel sessions and SI tutoring and one-on-one -on -one tutoring, all free and available to all students. Uh, there are also psychological services on campus and we have fitness centers and group X classes for physical health uh, and your advisor will be first aid and mental health trained and they can connect you to any resource on campus. So whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or if you just need someone to talk to, there are so many people that you can go to that can help you out with that. Um, one thing that we pride ourselves on in SCS is having undergraduate TAs for almost all the classes. This is very unique for SCS because a lot of other schools and even within CMU, most classes have graduate students as the um, TAs. Uh, but this means that a student can take a class one semester and as soon as the next semester, they can be paid and hired as a TA for the course, helping students through the material, helping the professor with grading, holding office hours, and perhaps holding recitations uh, based on what class it is. I personally have loved the TA experience uh, because it gives you the chance to meet new people, help others on material that you may have struggled with when you took it, and be able to have an impact on the class um, afterwards now that you are a TA rather than just a student. It's also really cool because uh, it's more than just being a good student and getting a good grade in the class. Like you don't have to get an A to TA, but it is more about understanding other people's difficulties and being able to help others. So you'll see a wide variety within like the expertise of all the TAs, because there could be a TA that may not have done as well, but are really good at explaining to those students that are really struggling. And then there could be another TA who has like astronomical information or like unlimited information about the topic and they can kind of cater to the kids who are more invested in the class and maybe have a little bit more background related to it. The application process is very easy and it allows students of all years and experience levels to TA together and it can actually happen where like your TA one semester is your student another semester because the classes don't really have like a fixed ordering to them other than like the core classes so you can kind of take them in any order um, it kind of creates an entire TA network where you see all the other TAs wearing their TA hoodies um, and having some sort of like mutual respect for each other it's a great way to make new friends while helping others um, it's just a great experience that I think that everyone in SCS should have if they want it. It's also a really great experience if you're considering going to grad school, um, because as a grad student, you will most likely have to TA and having some undergraduate TA experience can be really exciting. Um, you can also get involved in like research related to that as well.
Uh, cool, so the next stop is now moving to the fifth floor. Usually we would take our glorious Gates Helix that runs from the third to the fifth floor, uh, but for now you can just stick around for the next video. Um, I hope that we'll see you on campus soon and you can take in the Helix in person and take a stroll up or down as a robot would, um, and I hope you are all staying safe and healthy. Thank you.